Hi everyone, I'll quickly take you through the process of adding some professional development um, using the Teachers Registration Board SA online portal. Um, it's important because that's the process now in terms of keeping up to date um, with your PD. So you've got to pop in your details and log in. Once you log in, you want to click on the button down here in the bottom right hand side where it says My Professional Learning History. View and Edit Learning History. And that will take you um, to your professional learning history. Um, so from there, you can click on Add New Professional Learning Record and begin typing in uh, the information. So I'm going to add some information from a staff conference that I was involved in on Friday. And the information for that conference looked a bit like this, in which we talked about differentiation and accessing the curriculum or allowing students to access the curriculum uh, no matter what their ability. So here I actually type in MOC, short for my school staff conference. And just give it the name. Hopefully I've spelled that right. And then I want to put the date and the completion date. So it was on Friday. And in terms of hours spent, it was a whole day conference. So I'll put here, it was seven hours. Now, I guess the hours really depends on what you've done at the professional development. So if you were delivering uh, part of the PD, then obviously your hours would increase because you'd have to um, accommodate the fact that you did some preparation and planning, etc. Um, this is a rough guide as well. Um, seven hours was for the day, but obviously you could always go back and add extra hours based on what you do in terms of uh, using the actual PD. So as part of ours, we were planning um, curriculum work for students. And so um, as I go in terms of planning new content and revising how I teach it, I might actually change this hours amount and then obviously put in extra information for the description and annotation reflecting that. So just thought I'd um, let the let you be aware of that. And now I need to write in some description of evidence. And often that can come um, from the handout that was provided or from um, the certificate, etc. So if we have a look here, um, what's great is the sheet that we were given out actually um, ticks in terms of the rationale behind what we were doing, the IATSL standards and where they fit. So you can actually start to um, obviously tick some of these standards um, in yours. So I'm gonna do that, number one, two, and three. Then being know the students and how they learn. Know the students how to teach it and plan for and implement effective teaching and learning. Oops. I might actually click um, save just for now. Oops. Uh, just pop in something brief in here. And the only reason I've done that is because um, because I'm doing this as a video recording. Occasionally, the website will time you out and kick you out, and you'll be logged out, and you have to retype everything again. So that's something to be wary of. You can't just leave the page on the whole time. Um, so I'll go back now and click edit. 
and get back to editing. So it's worthwhile doing that occasionally if you know you're going to go make a coffee or whatever um, so you don't get logged out and have to type it in again. And voila, uh, what I've done is basically quickly typed everything in, uh, so not to bore you and for you to have to watch me type everything in. Um, I'll just open up these text boxes so you can see what I've written. I'm actually also going to tick in standard number six, engage in professional learning, because under uh, 6.3, uh, sorry, 6.2, it's got uh, participate in learning, to update knowledge and practice targeted to professional needs um, and school and or system priorities. And I guess when we're looking at um, using something like what we did um, during the day, the Bloom's revised taxonomy sheet, it is a school process which is new um, and which is required of us. So I think that fits well with that um, standard along with just talking with um, the colleagues throughout the day and planning work and so on. Um, so I've basically typed in um, a few uh, words about the description and annotation. Hopefully I've um, done that uh, well. You can also put in links and occasionally in some of my other professional development um, sections I've, I've put in links to videos and sheets and so on so I might come back and update this later on in terms of some of the work that I've done but that's in a general roundabout way how I would um, finish off this professional learning record. Hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea about how to fill in your professional development record and uh, given you an example of um, how, to, how to finish one so Thank you very much.